Good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel 20, and our reading is verses 17 to 23. This is the, the end of this uh, conversation between David and Jonathan, and let's just read it and see how that goes. Now, Jonathan again caused David to vow because he loved him, for he loved him as he loved his own soul. Then Jonathan said to David, Tomorrow is the new moon, and you will be missed, because your seat will be empty. And when you have stayed three days, go down quickly and come to the place where you hid on the day of the deed, and remain by the stone Ezel. Then I will shoot three arrows to the side as though I shot at a target, and there I will send a lad, saying, Go, find the arrows. If I expressly say to the lad, Look, the arrows are on this side of you, get them and come, then, as the Lord lives, there is safety for you and no harm. But if I say thus to the young man, Look, the arrows are beyond you, Go your way, for the Lord has sent you away. And as for the matter which you and I have spoken of, indeed, the Lord be between you and me forever. Now, yesterday morning we saw the covenant between David and Jonathan strengthened again with this promise that, that Jonathan exacted from David that he would not uh, harm his descendants. Uh, but here we have this thing with the arrows, and there's going to be a signal here. You kind of wonder, why do we need to have these arrows shot? Can't he just talk to David and tell him the way it is. But we want to notice here that there's kind of an Ebenezer thing going on here. Uh, what do you mean, Pastor? What do you mean? This is being turned into an incident that they will both remember very well. Jonathan will remember it. David will remember it. This was the time that he shot three arrows. So he's going to find out, uh, sound out Saul about his uh, feeling about David. And then he's going to shoot the arrows, you know, either beyond or, or on this other side. And we'll see that tomorrow. But what we have here is after that, he's going to send the lad away and they're going to talk. But here, you know, David gets this, this signal. There's going to be a signal. And I think it's interesting here where we look at verse 22. But if I say thus to the young man, look, the arrows are beyond you. Go your way, for the Lord has sent you away. So this is going to be a signal to David from the Lord. That's how they're interpreting it. And Jonathan's going to do it by using these arrows. This is basically forming kind of an Ebenezer, a, a stone of remembrance. It's a, it's a, a monument or a, a place in time. It is a, an experience that they'll both remember, the experience when the three arrows were shot. So do we have, are we forming those things actively in our experience? A lot of times we're really not doing stuff like that. But it may be that there will be times, it certainly would be that there would be times when we want to uh, see things, do things in a way that's symbolic, that'll be easy to remember. And I think we could do some things like this. Uh, do be careful with your arrows, though, these days. So anyway, this is the plan now. And we'll see tomorrow morning what happens next. Which way are the arrows going to go? But right now, I'll let you and I pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we are reading the scriptures, we're trying to shape our life in the way that you have for us. Uh, help us to properly do some of these kinds of things. Put out a fleece to, or uh, shoot the arrows in this way. Help us to have incidents and events that we can remember. And help us to know that you can guide us through those, just as this is going to be a guidance to David. If it happens this way, it'll mean this. If it happens this way, it'll mean that, that you are communicating this. So, Lord, we look for those kinds of things. They're not really part of our modern world, but they should be, and they can be. And if we are intentional about it, Lord, you will help them to be. Help us to have events of remembrance, spiritual remembrance, that we can look back on as we go through our way, serving your kingdom. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So, friend, have a wonderful day serving the Lord God and be seeking his guidance and give him a way to help you see his guidance. We'd be careful with just random things and impulses and feelings about what things are, but, but let's be in the word, and, and God will be our guide. Hey, God be with you today and bless you in all that you do.